Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon! Last time, we made our way to the library in Gloomy Manor and faced off against the Poltergeists! Hoping to put an end to some of the ghostly activity going on, but found out that while they are more advanced ghosts, they are not the ones in charge. This time, we're gonna hopefully find out who is in charge in Visual Tricks. Get some A4 paper and let's go. I tell you, Luigi, some things in this world are just too strange to be real. Some are real, of course, but some are illusions. Here, I've got something to show you. This is a spirit ball, a paranormal specimen with the ability to cause illusions. And someone is releasing a whole mess of them inside the gloomy manor. Okie dokie. Oh. <laughs> Okie dokie. That's why some of the objects there, even whole suits of armor, have suddenly vanished. But trust me, they're still there. Luckily, I created a special Poltergust 5000 attachment a while back that will help us. I call it the Dark Light Device. It's a nifty little doodad able to break illusions such as objects that have been turned invisible. But with all the ghosts gone hostile, I haven't been able to return to my lab to retrieve it. But now that you're here, you can get in there and grab it! You'll find the Darklight device attached to its charging station. It should be fully charged by now. Okay, I'm sending you in. Prepare to be pixelated! <laughs> Luigi's not dumb. He knows exactly what's going on here. There's no him getting played for the fool, except for thinking that he's gonna step out of his brother's shadow and actually mean something to the rest of the world. But he can't win them all. He is at least smarter than the average plumber. I don't know where I was going with that. Wait, what? It happened again? Is that not rare after all? And I was just very unlucky? Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, I guess the strobe bulb was made out of solid plexiglass if it withstood the weight of an entire plumber twice now. Let's go through the guard hall. And once again, we are headed off to the lab. If you are so inclined to recall, you know that we went off to the lab during the last mission and we saw a suspicious object in there that Luigi didn't want to touch that looks suspiciously like our objective right now. Yeah, that's why I wanted to show that off. We were too fast for Egad. We didn't need to wait for him to tell us about any stinking objective or anything. But uh, yeah, we weren't too fast for the ghost. So uh, second place, pretty typical of Luigi's life. <laughs> and speaking of being troubled, we have ourselves a phone call. Luigi, am I seeing this right? Did the lab's door just disappear? It must have been haunted by spirit balls from inside the room. Hmm, I'm sure there's another way into that room. Yeah, sure. Don't tell us what it is. Uh, even though this was your house and you should quite clearly know the layout and you were doing research in here, I'm happy that you're getting mold damage from all that rainwater falling inside the guard hall from the broken window that we still haven't fixed. And karma comes back to bite me from complaining. Didn't we just watch that cutscene? No, really, I think the last time that happened, that cutscene played out in exactly the same way, and hey, buddy, guess what? You're my guinea pig! How does that make you feel? Dead? I sure hope so, because you already are! Level 2 charge does more damage, and you will also get more money for getting up to it. See there, I got a gold bar, even though there was only one ghost to be sucked up. You're a hider, not quite as much health, but I'm still confident that I can get a level 2 charge against you, and you spin around in circles to make that a lot harder. You. Yes! Got you without even having to check anything! Now, um, I guess kinda while we're fighting these ghosts, a, a common complaint that I've heard that I've been kinda wanting to bring up is that I've heard some people say they don't like the design of the ghost, that they just look a little bit too basic, and I'll agree that they're not quite as cool looking as some of the ghosts that we've seen out of Luigi's Mansion in the past, but, you know, I don't really think that's the point. They're very expressive. I think they are much funnier just as enemies and as characters than anything that we saw before. And, you know, I think that's a lot more important to me personally than just the core design of the ghost. Because even though Gold Ghosts and a lot of the other enemies from before could be funny in their own way, 
Nothing tops like the greenies playing rock, paper, scissors and then going like, oh crap, Luigi's here or something when you go into the room. It's just, there's a lot of visual charm to be had in these ghosts. I love them just so, so much. Also, yeah, we just needed to go into the room that was above the lab. I think that was pretty self-explanatory, especially if the ghost didn't want us going upstairs. And not five seconds in, we're told what we want to do anyway. I'll steal money from off of your mantle because that's a very tacky place to keep your coins. Just saying, it's not what I'd put over my mantle. Wait, <laughs> that fireplace was still on fire when Luigi fell into it. And I think he landed on his head. <laughs> Man, uh, I felt bad for you before, but that's probably the darkest thing to happen to you. How at long last, grab the thing. Uh -huh. And with that, it's time for yet another exciting edition of Uncreative Enemy Names! After you suck on this, what pops out but a Shades Greeny? What? You suck on his face, I knew exactly what I was saying before I said it, and then you can attack him as normal, otherwise he will not respond to the strobe bulb. Getting a level two charge against greenies can be a little bit tough, just simply because they don't have all that much health. So uh, yeah, keep at it. Do that if we have to get a level one charge. Oh well, it's not a gold bar for getting one ghost, but we can still get quite a lot. Yes, did it. Four gold bars. That is beautiful. Let's pick it up. Oh. Yep. Ah. I got in my two steps before making the phone call. Awesome. New record. Luigi, whoever is releasing the spirit balls is somehow available to avoid the periscope. Wait, is that? You found the dark light device. Good work, my boy. You sound so shocked that we could perform anything without your help. Try it out with Y. Okay, so, uh, yeah. The dark light device allows us to see through illusions of sorts. We also can see a bit of an outline on the wall of whoever was performing these illusions. You use it to reveal the spirit balls, you suck them all up, and then whatever object is being affected by an illusion of sorts will be returned to normal. I think there's also, yeah, you kind of want to look for outlines of objects in any place that there is an outline. Yeah, this toolbox was invisible. For opening it, we got a lot of hearts. Not that I needed three of those. Sure, okay, I won't act like I didn't need any of them. But yeah, you can now uncover invisible objects and find secrets with this. And there are a few places that we have seen already where we can do that. And guess what? Egad's probably about to tell us the exact same thing because he loves being redundant with my commentary. Excellent, Luigi. I won't have to ask you to leave now because you've already shown yourself the door. Oh, 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 oh. Now then, have you been hearing that creepy laughter? Whoever is releasing mm -hmm. the spirit ball seems to be enjoying himself. I'm not having any luck with the periscope, so it's up to you to find him and put a stop to it. Well, we are all on our own. For once, Egad is not going to be calling us every few seconds to tell us about something. And now, I think I want to look around a little bit and just see what it is we can uncover using the dark light device. As you use it up in the corner, there is a bit of a heat meter of sorts. You can't use it for too long, otherwise it overheats, so you can't just keep it on all the time. Your strobe bulb does have a bit of an advantage to it, other than just the fact that it, you know, does that. Oh, what am I trying to say? Even though the dark light device seems like it'd be just a better strobe bulb, it does not scare ghosts, and the stro uh, the strobe bulb makes it easier to just kind of see in general because it is a regular old flashlight. There. Another thing the dark light device does is that anytime you see a painting like this, you are able to make whatever is in the painting back into a real object. Kind of interesting. Here we get ourselves a key, and now I want to go back and see what else I can find. In the entrance is this suit of armor, the guy who oh so graciously gave us some gems before. He will spit out money for us once again for saving his life. We check him again, nothing happens, yeah. Not all gems are accessible in all missions even if you have access to the room, so keep that in mind. If I am getting a gem, it might be the only time that you can get said gem. Let's do this, get all this money. There's this, I think, cheap, cheap statue that's in the front yard. Which, man, with generosity like that, you sure don't live up to your name. <laughs> that doghouse was invisible, and for entering it, we get to go to what is a bonus room of sorts, yeah. These have a time limit. 
check this chest. Get ourselves some money there. Check this chest. Get even more money. And, uh... Is there really nothing? Oh, there. Okay, yeah, the lightning shows you where you want to use the dark light device. Get these spirit balls. I sincerely... Okay, good. I was about to say, I sincerely hope that is the only chest around here because if there's a whole circle of them, I'm not going to find them. So yeah, these bonus rooms, they're just opportunities to get money, and like I've said before, I'm not gonna worry too much about getting as much money as possible, because it's not all that important long term, but they're kinda nice when you find them. They have fun little mini games in them, fun little bits of puzzle solving that are on a time limit. They're kinda neat, and that was our first time seeing one, of course. Oh, back in the bathroom, there's ghosts here for us to fight. This might actually be worth going back into an earlier room for, even though I was saying, hey, I'm not gonna get any treasure in previous rooms, even though I've been doing that anyway. This is kind of a special case, we got ourselves, because, because we got ourselves a new ability that I wanna show off, and this is our first time seeing it, so I would make an exception for that. I was wanting to show that, because yes, ghosts caught do impact your rank. So if you're wanting to go out for a good rank, yeah, that's two whole extra ghosts that you can get, and it's not far off the beaten path whatsoever. That'll give you a lot of extra points. And then, of course, the main reason for the backtracking is that in the parlor was this grandfather clock that we saw vanish before our very eyes for bringing it back to life and using the strobe bulb from an awkward angle that somehow still counted. Well, that was kind of a ripoff. Yeah, that's just your hint for telling you where it is that you get a gem, not necessarily your first opportunity to get it. But I did want to show it nonetheless, because it was pointed out to us, and it was something that I'm sure people would have been curious about, so I'm still glad that we went back for it. Kind of. I think that's about it, except for this right here. Yeah, gotta look for those shadows. Get all these spirit balls. Come on. Get in there. They're a little bit weird. They're, they're, the hitboxes on them, I can't really explain why, but they always seem to move really awkwardly towards you, and there's a lot of times where it seems like you should be getting them sucked in, but you don't. I don't know, it's, it's one of those things that's hard to explain, but I'm sure anybody would understand what I mean if they've played this before. That, and now, we can go onward through this door, which coincidentally, the key to it was right next to it. Huh. We're now in a new area, the patio. I see flowers, I am going to flash those flowers. That has very bad secondary meanings, but I didn't intend this time can spin this carousel around, get lots of coins to pop out of it. Probably not gonna, whoa, uh, slow down. Gimme, 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 gimme. Let's get this pile of dirt. Nothing, okay, I guess it was just quite literally dirt. And then, over this way, yeah, we saw the lightning reveal to us that there was somewhat of a statue here and there's even a bird perched on top of it. Oh, gold bird, gold bird. Just one dollar bill. Is there even a point to you being gold? I think that's how much the other ones dropped too. Get that, and here is a vain statue of Professor Egad himself, who loves making all kinds of groundbreaking inventions, such as inventing a vacuum cleaner, which he repurposes in Catching Ghosts, inventing a record player, as we saw earlier, and here is his latest invention, the fan. Or I guess as he would like to call it, the phantom in his naming scheme, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got ourselves the key, but we don't wanna go onward just yet. We can see that, yeah, this area looks a little bit suspicious. If we use our shiny new dark light device to uncover it, we get a door. And we are in the very uncreatively named Under the Stairs. Doesn't quite give gold spiders competition for how uncreative than, uncreatively named they are, but hey, we'll run with it. And then back this way, I think, yes! There is that star gem that has been taunting us this whole time! Ha! What do you say to that, you tetanus angel fish? I got your treasure out from behind you, and I didn't ever get bit by you! Thankfully, you look so painful to get bitten by. I would rather get- I know the piranhas don't bite people, but I would much rather take a bite from a piranha than take a bite with something that has jaws like that. Ugh, just, I don't know, it looks so creepy to me, I don't know what it is. It's little enemies hurting me and nothing else does. Ugh, alright. Uh, I think that's about it out here. So let's go back inside. Huh. Hold on a minute, actually. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, 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 hold up. 
Yes! Yes, 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 yes! I knew I was forgetting something! I felt a little bit awkward walking through that door if my tone was an indication, and I am so glad that I went back! There is yet another gem. Only four more to go. We are making great progress. Heck, we were so good that we collected one twice. Yeah, that's gonna be my excuse for that. Some hearts that are in a kitchen. Make of that what you will. There, ah, here we go. Uh, Hider. Get you and Greeny. Yes. Still have yet to take, have I taken damage from like an actual like in this entire mission because I really think it once again has just been like the little critters that really shouldn't be all that dangerous but are more annoying to deal with than you would think they would be got you I think I saw the hider go over this way it was the oven maybe it was not even close to either of those things sure <laughs> get you come on get over here you maniac yeah yeah then, once we're over this way, oh, my thumb slipped off the run button. I was wondering why it was that didn't work. Let's get this and call the dumb waiter. Or, hmm, actually, I wanna check this over here. Just because we got the dark light device and there's a lot of new things that you can do in each and every room as soon as you get a new ability like this. So I wanna make sure to check it just to be on the safe side. Uh, nothing, 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 nothing. No oh, wait, wait. Yeah, globe. Okay. All right, so I guess we could take this over here and burn it. Yes, there is that gem. Wowie. And now we are going to go forward, and now we are going to call the dumb waiter. I am very glad that I have been paranoid and trying to go back for things. Being like, wait a minute, no, there's a whole room that we can explore with our new ability that we haven't done yet. Because anytime that they give you any sort of new ability, of course you want to go and explore the other rooms. Because there have been gems that have been there right under your big fat Italian nose this whole time. And you just simply haven't been able to go and see them out of not having those abilities. Also, that rope was totally going through Luigi's face right there. That was creepy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Remember what I said about really liking the facial expressions of the ghosts? Meet the one exception to that. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but booze looks so stilted and awkward just compared to everything else, and I don't know what it is. They have much simpler characters. They were able to make a lot more expressive, but booze, they just, look at that. Like, he looks so stilted compared to everything else, and it just, it looks off. I don't know how they screwed that up or what though, because Boo's have been expressive plenty of other times, but you kind of know it's bad when Boo's look more expressive in Mario 64, you know, the game where their faces are just textures. Yeah, it's one of the things that I'm not really a big fan of. You uncover them with the dark light device, they have a set amount of health, and yeah, you pull on their tongue and let them fly. They spit out coins for every piece of health they lose, and then when they're at zero, they get all dizzy and... <laughs> You get a nice little cartoonish effect right there where you suck them in. Make sure you get all the coins though, because I, yeah, okay, yeah, they disappear pretty quickly. Luckily, Egad was kind enough to wait to call us until after the fact. Oh, oh. you okay, Luigi? Criminy, what in tarnation was a boo doing here in the valley? Mm -hmm. now, good thing you had the dark light device with you, or you'd have been in real trouble. Mm -hmm. Let's get you out of there. Hold on tight. Ow. I think that was every gem that we could get in this mission. Wow, all right. Well, I'm very glad that I didn't do that. I remember there being one in the library, but there's a painting of fire that is on the second floor of the library, and I was thinking that it was related to that. I didn't think we could get that one in the globe, or just like get one on the first floor, rather, because yeah, I didn't remember the globe being like what it was in this particular mission. But yeah, still got them all. Didn't really get the best time because of all the backtracking, but we still got a triple star. Awesome. Even caught our first boo, yeah. Excellent! I'm positively tickled that my dark light device worked. Oh. 
have our first boo, new boo collected. Gets us almost to the next rank, almost. And we have unlocked the Scare Scraper. This is, uh, yeah, the hair-raising high-rise full of ghostly challenges awaits you and your fellow ghost hunters. Access it from the main menu. We're not gonna be talking about this now. That's gonna be saved for a little bit later. But yes, we will be doing that when the time comes. It's concerning to find a boo in the gloomy manor. Boos always spell trouble, especially if they gang up. If you see any more, be sure to capture them right away. I have a special container just for booze down in the vault. Funny story, actually. You may have remembered that I, I used to have a device called a portrificate. Huh? Hold on, a, hold up a second. The periscope is acting up. Something isn't right, Luigi. The signals are from the gloomy manor are... Give me a minute. I need to figure this out. A rather haunting note to end on. But we have finished visual tricks, got lots and lots of stuff, and we've gotten access to the next mission, Sticky Situation. Next time on Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, we are gonna clean up those darn spider webs. We really are just EGAD's made at this point. They're blocking our progress and they ruin the furniture and they're just plain gross. See you guys then.